Hey guys, Kaisups here. Welcome back. We're going to continue on with our Skyrim walkthrough. Um, we don't have quite enough iron ore, I don't think. Uh, so we're going to need to get a little bit more. So we're going to do some fast traveling. The first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to try to go back to Windhelm and see what happens. I have been having vampire attacks like every time I fast travel in testing. So, no? Okay. Alright. Okay, we're going to zip over to Iverstead and see what happens. I made a little path to get some uh, iron ore there. And we're going to grab three three more quick veins. And then we're going to hit up one more mine. Oh, we're in trouble. That guy is bad news. For people that don't know, that guy talks to you and summons gargoyles and starts fighting you. Normally I'd wait till daytime, but uh, that guy is bad news bears. So we're not doing that. Yeah, he's uh, he's part of the vampires. He'll summon some gargoyles. And the, so the problem with these vampire attacks when I'm fast traveling, guys, is they're so much stronger than me. L usually I spawn and I'm immediately dead after fast traveling. I get hit by like one vampire and I die. As well as um, they, uh, as well as if I try to fight them, I can't really. I have to be careful. If I hit the townsfolk at all, I'll get a bounty, and the townsfolk get in there and get all dirty. It's it's just really been bad. I've had a, like a couple deaths just in trying to practice leveling up my smithing. Um, we'll see what happens. So, what's been going on as far as all the iron and stuff? So, we need a little bit more. I did the testing. We didn't have we don't quite enough. Um, I thought about going to Halted Stream Camp and getting the Transmute Mineral Ore spell. But it just wasn't really for me. Um... It's too tough to clear that area with our current character. It's There's no undead. It's all people, and there's a ton of them, and they're just stronger than me. It'd pretty much be me cowering behind Serana's, you know, skirt, and I'm not going to do that. Okay, so here's the test, guys. I'm going to drop a quick save here, and we're gonna, we need to fast travel to the Whiterun Stables. So, wish me luck. Last time I did this, I died instantly. Hmm. No. Okay. So maybe that other guy with the black robe spawning, he was, uh, he's kind of like, like we got it out of the way. I hadn't had him spawn. I've always had the, um, I've always had the, uh, the group of vampires. So there's like four of them. So as soon as you, as soon as you spawn, there's like four vampires in your face. Um, I'm actually going to put on my, I'm going to put healing on right away. So if, I take the carriage here. If I come out of the carriage and there's immediately vampires here, I'm not dead. Okay, so after this, we're going to go to the left-hand mine, I think it's called. Vampires? Vampires? Ah, ah. Okay, I don't see any. Alright, yeah, we're going to go to left-hand mine over there. Um, the reason we're running over to left-hand mine, it's just an iron mine. It has five veins in it. We're just going to go get another 15 um, iron. And then if we do a little bit of skill training and smithing and then level it up, I think we'll have enough to get to 50. So all these guys are chit-chatting about, uh, I think we can go in here. They're, they're chit-chatting about the Forsworn taking over Kolskegger. Uh, Kolskegger mine's a super big gold mine, guys, um, for people that don't know. Yeah, it's this big badass gold mine. It has like, <clears throat> you're married, eh? Just like me. It has 16, I think, gold ore veins. But it's, it's, it's hard to clear. Drop a quick save coming in here. I don't know if I've ever actually cleared this mine, so... Yeah, I don't know if I've ever cleared this mine, so I don't know if there's, like, fire traps and stuff that's going to kill me in here, so I'm just being cautious. If anyone wonders why I d I'm not doing the transmute mineral ore thing, um, it's just going to take me, like, an hour. It's going to take, like, an hour for me to, le to transmute all that uh, ore. And it will give me a lot more smithing experience. It'll get me a lot more money. Like, there's a lot of benefits to it, but it's just so excessive. Because I'd, I'd literally have to cast the spell twice, then quick, then wait probably, because it costs 88 to cast, and then do that again and again and again and again, and no one's going to watch that. And even if I did it off screen, it would be annoying as hell. So, um, you know, I just don't think it's worth it. Free knapsack. This one's not even. None of this stuff is steel in here. That's interesting. Usually, when you're in a mine like this, everything's steel. Okay, so we got three of them. There's supposed to be five veins in here, if I remember correctly. 
Any more is much appreciated. Look at this huge area. How is there only two veins in here? So hopefully we can get smithing to 50 in this video. That would be ideal. Hi, buddy. So just one more up here, up at the top here. Yeah. Yep. Anything else here? Oh. Free coins. I'm not stealing, guys. It's allowed. Okay. Mine it all out. Done. Done and done. There might be some, like, little ores around here somewhere. I, I'm not going to look for them all, though. We're up to 100 even, and what do we have? 104. So we have 204 total now? Okay, that's not too bad. 204 is a reasonable number. Um, yeah, hopefully we don't run into any vampires, guys. Hopefully that guy appearing in uh, Iverstead was like us getting it out of the way. Not a weapon, man. It's a freaking pickaxe. Like, what are you talking about? Okay. So, first things first, we have the warrior stone on, we're gonna go to the, we're gonna go to Riften. Actually, I'm gonna go right to the Mistville Keep, because if vampires spawn, there's a lot of people here, maybe I can run for it. Ah. Okay, I don't see any, perfect. Alright, we're gonna zip into the city, um, because we haven't done any skill training this level, but we're gonna do some. We're gonna, ah. We're gonna go into the... To be in the barb, and we're gonna grab a bed to get the well rested bonus before doing our smithing training. How about Kiraba? I like that name. Kiraba. Okay. Yeah, those vampire attacks are really brutal. Um, so I need to sleep till daytime because I need to talk to Balamond. Um, yeah, sleep for 11 hours. I think actually in the special edition, or maybe just with the unofficial patch installed, they reduce the amount of vampire attacks, because it used to be really excessive, and it would cause a lot of problems. Like, it would kill a lot of non-essentials, and uh, you'd lose a lot of, like, your townsfolk. Like, the whole cities could get slaughtered sometimes. There we go. So we got... So that, ah, Jesus. So we got well-rested. 10%. And Warriors Stone twenty percent. We could get fifteen percent if we went back to our ta our, our wife, but this is where the smithing guy is. So, so five levels. Thank you. I don't know if I have much to sell back to him for like the fifteen hundred gold he just took from us. I might not have like anything. Arrows currently aren't worth anything. Bolts aren't worth anything. No, I don't have anything to get this. I could sell him some Corindamore and Orc Alchemore. All right, I'll do that. But uh, before I sell it back to him. We'll put on Amulet of Zenithar, make sure it's on. It is on. And we'll give the beggar a coin, get a couple extra dollars of this. This is hopefully the only time we're going to have to do any um, smithing skill training, so it's not a big deal. It's going to cost us a little extra. Uh, we'll sell these one at a time. I just want to get... Uh, um, make sure my speech gets up a little bit. Yeah, these are still not worth anything. But they will be, guys. Our speech will eventually get up there and it'll be worth something. Okay, so that put our smithing up to... Where are we at? 20. So we need 30 levels of smithing. Okay. So we're going to go back to Windhelm, guys. Uh, again, I'm going to put on my healing spells. I'm going to quick save before I do this fast travel, guys. Because, like I said, I've been running into vampires. It's been bad news bears. And I, I, like, even no matter where I fast travel, it's just like, oh, sweet, here's six vampires, or whatever, four vampires. Nope. I'm getting lucky, I think. This is good. This is going well. I like this. Okay. Oh, here, I'll show you guys something cool. Actually, I'll do this after. Do this after. Let's go get all my iron. We're going to get ourselves set up for success here. It's going to take a minute, but we're going to get all set up. We're going to get a bunch of levels in smithing. Okay. Take a look in here, see what we got. So, we got a whole chunk in here. That's a gold ingot. Nope. 98 iron ore and 106 of these. We're too heavy. Stash all these gems in here for now. I don't know if I mentioned this. I, I looked up what the Welkin Stone is. It's just from the DLC that I uh, 
the creation club thing I bought, guys. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. Oh, good. Look how fast I go. Stash any ingredients we might have. Okay, do I have... What's, what's weighing me down so much? Do I have something that's, like, really heavy? Or is it literally just all the ores are just holding me down? Because there's a lot of them. I get it. Yeah, I guess that's 200 carry weight. Okay, we're going to have to give a chunk of them to Serana as we do this. Anything good? Not really. Just some iron ore. And here, take, take 89 of them. Cool. Just gave her a chunk of them. Okay, let's head back this way. Oh crap, where's the wood? No, I don't have my woodcutter's axe. I need my woodcutter's axe. Did I give it to you? I did. <laughs> okay guys, so we're going to cut here for a second. Um, because I need to cut like 200 of these. 200. Cause how many do I have? So she has 89 and I have yeah, I need like 220 um, <laughs> pieces of wood. And so that's going to take a while. So we're going to cut here. And when you guys see me come back, I'll have all this wood chopped. See you guys in like two seconds. Okay, guys, we're back. So we cut all the firewood. I got 220 pieces right here. But now, as you can see, I am heavily overloaded. That took a long time, by the way. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop this on the ground. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna run like run with it like this. Pretty cool, huh? I'm actually just gonna Yeah, maybe I'll set it right I'm gonna set her down right there. Hopefully no one takes my firewood. Okay. We just need to go get the lover's comfort bonus now. We have the warrior stone, just need lover's comfort. I just needed to get that wood chopping out of the way. What time is it? Three hours? Okay. My wife gets home in about three and a half hours, so when she shows up, we'll be able to continue on. So, sleep till what, midnight? What? She's not here? There she is. What kind of woman comes home after midnight and doesn't make dinner? What the hell? Anyways. So we're going to see how this is going to end up, guys. We now have Lover's Comfort, 15%, and Warrior Stone, 20%. 35% better smithing leveling. Okay, so... Hoping my firewood's still sitting there. Yep, okay. Come here, Serana. Come here. Oh, what is it? This better not be all the things that just can't be bothered. Iron ore, yep. So take my iron ore back. I'm going to turn it all into iron ingots. I'm gonna test this out, see how this works too, guys. So I remember I told you I was I should program something on my keyboard so I don't have to go enter Y, enter Y, 200. So I tried it. Yeah, look at that. Now that's a time saver right there. Save my fingers too. Okay. Might as well just pick them up. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing here, guys, is you're gonna be you need the you need the special edition or Dawn Guard DLC. To do this, I'm gonna quick save before doing this just in case something goes wrong. We are gonna craft iron arrows. Look at that, all they require are iron ingots and firewood. Firewood's free, iron ingots weren't that hard to come by. So, we're gonna craft iron arrows. And they don't weigh anything, so we can carry them around everywhere. So, as you can see, actually, they give a decent chunk of experience. But we have to do this 200 times, so you know what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna hit our button and get some levels. Okay, we're gonna just see, because we're gonna level up here. So I wanna make sure I don't over level for the whole smithing, uh, for my skill training thing. So I'm gonna let all these rat a tat tat through. I think we just got to 37 there. Because we could still probably use some skill training in a couple things. Maybe some heavy armor skill training, make us a little bit tankier, because right now we're getting fucking bopped left and right every time we run into anything. Um, 
But yeah, it's definitely a lot easier to do that than to hit enter Y, enter Y, enter Y, enter Y. Enter y. Like, literally 400 clicks on my keyboard. I'm an old man. I got bad hands, you know? So I don't think I overleveled here, but we'll see. If I did, I, you know, I did a quick save, so it's not a big deal. It happened really fast, as you guys saw. So, and it's the last one. I think it was 37, right? Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Did we overlevel? Oh, we did. Not by much, though. Okay, we're just going to load the quick save, and we'll just, uh, we'll just make sure we don't get that high this time. So we only want to go to about 36, it looks like. 35, maybe. We'll go to 35. Okay, we're at 33, and we'll we'll let them. We'll just we'll just jump the gun. We don't need to wait. Health. Yeah, we need more health. Okay. So smithing's at 33. We didn't over level. So we're good here. So we still have skill training for this level. So we'll make a few more right now. Because now that we're at this screen, we're fine. Like, we're a little safer at this screen. Because we can go to, like... Yeah, we can go to, like, 40 here, safe, probably. Um, how much are we overburdened by still? 500? Okay, that's fine. I think I can probably just give Serana all the firewood. And then we'll be able to have them on us. This better not be all the things that just can't be bothered. Firewood. Take 78 firewood from me. And a couple iron ingots. Oh, she couldn't take anything. Any more firewood. Um, she's still... I'm still too heavy? Well, actually, I have extra firewood, though. I, I picked up too many, so we'll just drop a firewood here. Okay. Two firewood on the ground. Ah, two firewood on your head, Serana. Okay. So... Yeah, so we have done... We have started um, the College of Winterhold. Because what we, I think we want to do... I don't think we necessarily really want the heavy armor training right now. I think what we want is some alteration training to get our... Uh, to get closer to getting those magic resistance uh, perks. So we're going we're gonna to go get some of that. Hey, cool, everything respawned in here. The gates are closed, everything respawned. So I'm supposed to talk to Mirabelle, who's just right here. I don't think I actually have to take the tour. Yeah. I think I can just uh, go in here for the first lesson with Toltir. Yeah. I have many important things. Welcome. Yeah, you don't even have to do the tour. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is by its very nature volatile and dangerous. Unless you can Sir, I think we all understand that very well. What you learn here will, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years. Yeah, hurry up. I just want to do skill training with him. How you doing? Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. But we've only hey, just arrived what? here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? I think we should learn something practical. Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Yeah. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, yep. we start with wards. Wards are protected spells of block magic. I'll teach you all. Get out of the way. We'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Yeah, sure. Would you mind helping me with I don't know any word spells. Now, if you just stand right over there, yep. I'll cast a spell at you. And you block it with the ward. You block it with the ward. <laughs> Done this a time or two. Over there, please. Yes, Serrano, you need to get out of the way. Told your shoots you something could be fucking go haywire here. Perfect. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. 
Okay. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarkor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. Cool. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Okay, so one thing, you can talk to Tolftir and get some alteration training before he takes off. So it doesn't really cost us that much, but I don't think we have really anything to sell him back. Well, I should have quick save before I did that. I might over level here. Let's see how we did for uh, levels here. Nope, we're good, we're good. Okay, perfect. Come here. Do I have anything that you'll buy? Apparel. Oh yeah, you'll buy some of this stuff. You can have uh, you can have that and that. And I'm going to keep the ring in case I want to enchant a ring. Keep those. No, no, it's worth anything. Okay, cool. So you got away with like two grand. Oh, speech went up too. Nice. Okay. What's my carry weight at? 194 out of 300? Wait, what? Why is this 194 to 300? Wait, what? Wasn't I just at... Oh, maybe I, th I thought I was at 300. Uh, I, I, okay, okay. I'm just being dumb. So we're just coming in here because everything respawned. There's a bunch of freebies in here. and Hadriel likes freebies. So we're just going to run and grab the freebies. And then we're going to go back and get our leveling. And I hope that we get lucky and get some good items in these things. Whoop. Snowberries. Crap. Bleeding crown crap. Although there's actually a ble we're gonna actually have a use for bleeding crown in the future. It's still junk though, in my opinion. And free soul gems here. Okay, we're out. So we're gonna reset now. We're gonna head back to Windhelm. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick save before going back there, just because, like I said, vampire attacks. Uh, vampire attacks have been very bad. But once we get our new gear, we'll be a lot tougher and it won't be as difficult. Nope, nothing yet. That's good. Okay. Firewood still laying around? Oh, ironing guys, stealing guys. Okay, we're gonna go get the well rested bonus. We, like, you know, we could have got the mage stone before doing that alteration training just to get a little bit more experience, but it's not really that big a deal. Now that alteration's at 34, we can get the first. Magic resistance perk, but we're not going to rush into it just because um, we don't want to uh, we don't want to not have enough perks for the smithing perks we need immediately. Okay, so we got to sleep until like what one? So eleven hours until our wife wakes, comes home, gets us up. Excuse me. There we go. Okay, come on, Serana. We're out of here. No, come on. You're carrying all my firewood. I need to go make more arrows. Viola. You're so sweet. You're going to move into our new house with us. You know that, right, sweetie? Come on. Where's my vampire broad? Let's go. Okay. So, come on over here. Again, quick save before doing any nonsense. Come here, Serana. Oh, what is this better not be all the things that just can't be bothered with. <laughs> You're so sassy. Okay. More iron arrows, guys. So right, we'll do these ones slowly just because I don't want to over level. Um actually let's just do them all and see if we over level. So that got us to 45. Not quite 50, but still not bad. And uh, now we're not heavy, so that's good. I'm just going to check. I can't remember how I just did my skill training. I'm that slow right now. So the beggar's right here. You can just kind of... She trains in pickpocketing, so you can just check your... Yeah, so I haven't skill trained right now, so I can't I can't go level up right now. I need to wait. But I definitely didn't over level. So let's take a look at how what we got. So we got our smithing to 45. We have 5,000 arrows. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 5,000 arrows. Yeah, so at some point we'll be able to sell those for $5,000 once our speech gets a little bit higher. Um, so that, that's not half bad. And you know what we're actually going to do now? 
poison ghouls is we're just going to go back to Riften and pay Balaman for the last five levels of smithing training we need. And then, ta-da, smithing at 50. Doing quick save before every fast travel for the next little bit. Because vampires, I think vampires are going to be here this time. I feel it. Ah! You know if they're here. It immediately starts combat and you, like, die every time. It's the worst. Um... How you doing, Balaman? You wish to do what I do? Very well. Oh, it's gonna cost us 500? 2,500 gold? Man, you're killing me. Um, that's fine, though. That's fine. We'll get money in the future. Uh, okay, so... Just trying to see what our smithing's at. Because we might not need to do it five times if we go get the well-rested bonus. I'm gonna go grab the well-rested bonus. Might be able to just get away with doing it four times and, like, making an iron dagger. Save us 500 gold or something. Yeah, because if we can get away with that, that'll be a little easier on our, our pocket. We have a lot of money coming, too, guys. Um, there's a ton of... Uh, I'm sure people have seen me do a ton of the favor quests, as they're called. Uh, there's a ton of those. And the higher level you are, the more money you get for them when you start them. And there's, I've been kind of holding off on doing any of them to make income because I want to do them when I was a higher level. Okay, quick save, Balaman. Come here. What brings you to Balaman today? You wish to do what I do? One, Very well. two... Three. Four? Okay. I'm just gonna take a look at what my smithing's at. Yeah, I can just get away with making like one dagger or something, so I'll see if I'll just buy some leather strips and an iron dagger. Take a look. Or an iron ingot. Yeah, there's no smelter here, so I actually have to buy an ingot. It's funny. If you need any more smithing work, so they should just level us up. Boom. An iron dagger, dude. Chill out. It's the most basic weapon. So let's see. I don't want to over level again, so we'll see what happens here. Yeah, health. No, we didn't over level. Nice. So smithing is now at 50. And we are only level 15, so that's perfect. And we'll go ahead and let's go get our perk we need. So steel smithing. Elven smithing. Advanced armors. That's what we need to make our Dawn Guard armor twice as good as it is now. No, we're good. Uh, do I have anything to sell you? Take a look. I don't think I have anything to sell this guy. Yeah, these are still not worth anything. Got an iron dagger. You want an iron dagger? Uh, no. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, I had five iron ingots left over from the firewood. Wait, what? Where did I get those? Did I not have enough firewood? Ah, oh, I didn't even realize that. I dropped some of the extra firewood. I guess I miscalculated. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, smithing's at 50, guys. And we got... So I got that, and we actually have three extra perks available, so we're going to do this. Um, yeah, we're going to do this. I kind of wanted to get some maybe into some heavy armor perks, but we're going to do this. We're going to get magic resistance 10. So 10% magic resistance there. And uh, we're going to... I think we're going to call this video here, guys. Uh, in the next video, we're going to get the Dawn Guard armor all heavy and fully upgraded. So, uh... We'll cut it here, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Sorry there wasn't very much combat here.